Hello, I'm Vicky from Louis Hurst's Evening Republic. On Thursday the 11th of June, the host of the show, Louis Hurst, set me a challenge. For months he's been on a health kick, but that night he fancied a treat. Real Belgian chocolates. And I was tasked to get them from Belgium. So, I teamed up with the guys from Ashford Orbital to get from Ashford to Belgium and back in under five hours. I had until midnight to bring back some genuine Belgian chocolates. They suggested we use the new Mazda 3 to get us there. 7pm and the clock was ticking. Okay, so we're on the M20 uh, heading down to the Euro Tunnel. Uh, so we're currently in the Mazda 3, which is a lovely, lovely car. Uh, Paul's kindly driving me there at the moment. Um, and yeah, absolutely zoom, zooming along, as they say. So yeah, hopefully we're going to be there by 20 past 7 is our, our train. Uh, it's currently... 22-7 and uh, we're, we're taking bets at the moment as to whether or not we're actually going to make it to Dover in time. Thankfully the M20 was clear and we soon arrived at the Channel Tunnel Terminal. As we boarded the train we started to make our plan and to get to Belgium and back in the time we had we would have to put the Mazda 3 through its paces. Bonsoir, we made it to France, time check. 10 to 8, we're on time, we're doing well. But the time was against us. We realised that the change in time zone meant we'd lost an hour. So it was straight onto the A16, heading north towards the Belgian border. If we were to complete the challenge, we had no time to spare. Thankfully, the fuel-efficient Mazda 3 meant no wasting minutes at the petrol pump. We'd passed Calais and Dunkirk. The border and the first part of the challenge was within our grasp. We are approaching the uh, Belgian border. We're about to cross, which will technically mean we've done three countries in three hours. We get to get chocolate, but we're standing on route, and it's only half past eight, so uh, or well, technically half past nine. So we're in land. Here we go. It says Belgium. We've arrived. Nearly. Ours and the Master Three's work was far from done. We took the first exit at a town called Addingford, but we hunted down a shop that was open. So we've uh, loaded up the car with lots of chocolate, we're heading back down the motorway. Part one of the challenge was completed. We had made it from Ashford to Belgium and bought chocolates. Now on to part two, the return journey. The guys from Ashford Orbital were confident that the Mazda 3 would get us back in time. We'd been on the road for two and a half hours. I was just glad of the heated seats. And whilst the Bose sound system sounded amazing, I still couldn't understand a word of what the French radio was saying. As the evening turned to night, the minutes were ticking by. We got back to the tunnel and found out the next train we could get would get us back to the UK at Gone 11. The challenge was starting to look like it could be a close call thing. It's midnight and we're on the train. But the good news is, it's midnight French time. So technically that means it's 11 o'clock in England. So we've got an hour and we're on the train. Now we set off about, I think it was 10, five, 10 minutes ago. So we should be off the train just a bit before half past 11 in theory. On arrival in Folkestone, it was full speed up the M20. We had to get to Ashford in under 20 minutes to complete the challenge. We're here, we're back. We're just gonna grab the chocolate out. We're outside, pressing the fog button. And I'm in the door, Louis. I'm coming up the stairs. I've got a bag full of chocolate for you. I'm going to run in. Right. And it's the guys from Astrid Orbital as well. Come in, guys. Thank you very much. Hooray! Chocolate. Right. Let me, oh, let you me have the it. first taste, Louis. You know. mm. Another thank you to Astrid Orbital and the new Mr. Three, three countries in three hours. And uh, Vicky, well done. You managed to do it.